Bedtime Shema I hereby forgive anyone who made me angry, who provoked me, or sinned against me, physically or financially, who did not show me due respect, defamed me, or in any other matter that affects me, unintentionally or intentionally, unconsciously or consciously, in words or in deed, sinned against me. Let no one be punished on my account. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who gives sleep to my eyes and slumber to my eyelids. May it be your will, O Lord my God and the God of my fathers, that I may lie down in peace. Do not let my thoughts or evil dreams and sinful desires trouble me, but let my bed be flawless before you. Enlighten my eyes, or I will sleep the sleep of death. Blessed are you, O Lord, who enlightens the whole world with your glory. Shema Pray the first verse loud while covering the eyes with the right hand. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Silently. Blessed be the glorious name of the kingdom in all eternity. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. These words which I am commanding you today shall be on your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your sons and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontals on your forehead. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house, and on your gates. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us, and confirm for us the work of our hands. Yes, confirm the work of our hands. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For it is He who delivers you from the snare of the trapper and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His pinions, and under His wings you may seek refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and bulwark. You will not be afraid of the terror by night, or of the arrow that flies by day, of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, or of the destruction that lays waste at noon. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not approach you. You will only look on with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked, for you have made the Lord my refuge, even the Most High your dwelling place. No evil will befall you nor will any plague come near your tent. For he will give his angels charge concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will bear you up in their hands that you do not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you will trample down. Because he has loved me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him securely on high because he has known my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With a long life I will satisfy him and let him see my salvation. O oh Lord, how my adversaries have increased. Many are rising up against me. Many are saying of my soul, there is no deliverance for him in God. Selah. But you, O Lord, are a shield about me, my glory, and the one who lifts my head. I was crying to the Lord with my voice, and he answered me from his holy mountain, Selah. I lay down and slept, 
I awoke, for the Lord sustains me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for you have smitten all my enemies on the cheek. You have shattered the teeth of the wicked. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be upon your people. Selah. Let us, O Lord our God, lie down in peace. And let us, O our King, rise up again to life. Spread your shelter of peace over us, and admonish us with your good counsel. Help us for the sake of your name, and protect us. Turn away from us the enemy, pestilence, sword, famine, and sorrows. Let the tempter be removed from before us and behind us, and hide us under the shadow of your wings. For you, God, are our guardian and our savior. For you, God, are a gracious and merciful king. Keep our going out and our coming in from this time forth and forevermore. Blessed be the Lord by day. Blessed be the Lord by night. Blessed be the Lord as we lay down, and blessed as we rise again. For in his hand is the life of every living thing, and the breath of all mankind. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. Our God in heaven, may your name be known as the only name, and establish your kingdom forever, and rule over us forever and ever. May our eyes see, may our hearts rejoice, and our souls delight in the established truth of your salvation. When it is said in Zion, your God reigns. The Lord is, was, and will remain king forever and ever. For the kingdom is yours, and you shall reign forever and ever. For we have no king but you. The angel who has redeemed me from all evil, bless the boys. And in them let my name be carried on, and the name of my fathers, Abraham and Isaac, and let them grow into a multitude in the midst of the earth. If you diligently listen to the voice of the Lord your God, and do that which is right in his eyes, and give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes, I will put none of the diseases on you that I put on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord, your healer. And the Lord said to Satan, The Lord rebuke you, O Satan. The Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebuke you. Is not this a brand plucked from the fire? Behold, it is the traveling couch of Solomon, sixty mighty men around it of the mighty men of Israel. All of them are wielders of the sword, expert in war. Each man has his sword at his side, guarding against the terrors of the night. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance on you and give you peace. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. For your salvation I wait, O Lord. For your salvation, O Lord, I wait. O Lord, for your salvation I wait. A Song of Ascent How blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in His ways. When you shall eat of the fruit of your hands, you will be happy and it will be well with you. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine within your house, your children like olive plants around your table. Behold, for thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion, and may you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Indeed, may you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. Tremble, and do not sin. Meditate in your heart upon your bed, and be still, Selah. Do not let the sun go down on your anger, and do not give the devil an opportunity. 
but in all these things we overwhelmingly conquer through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in the Messiah Yeshua, our Lord. Lord of the world, who reigned as king, before creating everything. And at that moment all was made, then was his name as king proclaimed. And after all comes to an end, the awesome one will be sovereign. He was, and he remains to be, he will remain with majesty. He is but one, and none exist to equal him or to assist. Without beginning, without end, authority belongs to him. My Redeemer lives, he is my God. He is my rock when times are hard. A banner and a safe haven, my portion when I call to him. I give my spirit to his hand when I lie down and I will stand. And with my flesh my soul will be. I do not fear, the Lord's with me. In his temple I will sing, he sends us our Messiah King, and in his house rejoice again before the awesome one. Amen. <laughs>